yesterday at Pitcom we launched the new Alliance IS system. That's a system that's been specifically designed to solve the most pressing concerns our customers in the pharma QC space face. So when we spoke to customers in the QC lab and we asked what their biggest challenge was, the number one challenge that came through time and time again was the need to reduce the number of errors which were occurring in their labs. Because those errors have all kinds of downstream effects in terms of the efficiency of their lab, the productivity of their lab, and the kind of cost they incur when it comes to investigating those errors. So the Alliance IS has been specifically designed to address that problem and comes with a whole suite of features and solutions that absolutely minimize error. And it's not just the system, it comes with as part of an ecosystem. So it's the Alliance IS HDLC system, the newest system. It comes with new columns, which have a new tagging system that allows you to track column usage and also make sure you're always using the right column. It comes with a new cloud-based uh, software solution that allows you to monitor the entire lab to see how well your instruments are performing. It comes with new ways to understand um, how you get the system away from an error state and back up and running. And of course, it comes tightly integrated to our flagship software product, Empower, which is the most commonly used software in QC Labs today. And this whole set of solutions, we're highly confident, can reduce the amount of errors that occur in labs by as much as 40%. So that's what we've launched here at Pickle. Yeah, well, the biggest impact is, is that metric that we're really aiming for. Can we help customers reduce the amount of errors that they see occur in their labs by around 40%? Um, we've got a lot of testing ongoing with customers right now and they're validating that number, but we're highly confident we're going to hit that 40% mark. Now, what would we expect to be the consequences of reducing error? Well, there's some immediate real-time things we expect labs to see. The number of quality incidents that occur in their labs should reduce. The amount of time they spend investigating quality incidents in their lab should reduce. And their ability to get their results out in a timely manner will increase. So that's the biggest impact we see as coming from this technology. If you think about when we spoke to our customers 10 years ago, a lot of their requests were around either the science or the performance of our systems. So by the science, I mean, what does the separation technology look like? What kind of columns can we produce that help them meet their separation needs? And for performance, that continued desire to, uh, uh, to start navigating from legacy HPLC systems more towards higher performance, higher pressure systems. That was the kind of feedback we were getting 10 years ago. Um, what we're seeing now when we speak to pharma is more of this desire to help them with usability and simplicity so they can get people up to speed with new instruments quicker. They're asking for this error reduction I've spoken about. What can we do to support their users in minimizing error? And they're asking for help to navigate off legacy methods onto new technology like this. So we expect to, uh, pharma to see this as a new kind of innovation that supports both their scientific needs and their business needs. Yeah, we'd say the biggest difference is the usability and the error reduction. A massive amount of industrial design um, planning went into this product, all the way through from where you see the solvent lines coming in, from the intuitive touchscreen that enables a lot of the advanced features, and the way users interact with this. We did a lot of studies with users about making sure the interaction was as smooth and seamless as possible. So that level of usability is the highest we have certainly ever done. And then um, the thoughtfulness around how do we reduce error in a way that it naturally supports the user's workflow. We try very hard not to add additional steps that they might need to do to avoid error. As much as possible, the technology is seamless and natural, and we see that as another kind of unique thing that we've been introducing into the HPLC market. I think this vector of usability and simplicity and error reduction is one that has a lot of legs on it, right? We said we can reduce by up to 40%, that means there's 60% to go after, yeah. Um, we said that the need to radically simplify is there to help our users get up to speed with technology. We've made great strides. We expect to be able to make many, many more there. So um, performance is given. What has been in the field of chromatography for more than four decades? We know how to make the performance work. 
That's always going to come from our products. But this new vector of usability, simplicity, error reduction, we expect to see a lot more innovations coming from Waters over the next few years.